guys, it's Matt and I am here with another bag review. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the Atlas packs. I've got both the Adventure here and the Athlete. So uh, I wanted to take a look at these two because there are uh, some great options out there for the Adventure packs. They've got a whole bunch of features in them. They're built really well. So let's jump on in and take a look and see which one might end up working best for you. All right, so first starting with the athlete here. So this pack, uh, it's one of the, it's the smaller version. Um, if you are someone who carries mainly a mirrorless kit, it has smaller ones and things like that. This one's probably a good option for you because uh, it packs down quite a bit. Uh, this bag does expand. So if you cinched it down completely and you put it, you know, all the way down to its smallest form, you're gonna be sitting at about 20 liters. That's with the uh, top pull all the way down this pushed all the way in and everything i've got this stuff right now just so you can see kind of what it looks like packed out um but if you expand it all the way like go all the way up with the the top of the bag here you'll notice if i loosen it up a bit it goes it packs out quite a bit more so you can you can pack a decent amount in this bag just as is but it's still sized to to fit your carry-on so a uh, great option for that but uh packed all the way out it's a 40 liter bag so there is some expandable options in here so looking at this um it, it does have like a rip stop uh fabric to it so and it does work well i'll show you on the um adventure pack when i get to it but I was caving in that one uh, in a lava tube and it was r rubbing up against, you know, lava. Uh, well, not lava, but whatever the hardened stuff is. I'm not a scientist. So, um, but it, it, it was rubbing up against that and I didn't get any tears or any abrasion um, issues. So great option there. So coming in, you have a big front pocket here. That's a drop pocket. Um, perfect for just stuffing a rain shell in, anything like that, that you're gonna need really quick. Um, if you're out there, you have a waterproof zipper right here that goes the whole length of the bag so if you need to stump, stuff something in there you can do that just to show you my hand can fit all the way in there um, the sides of the bag so on this side on each side actually you have a mesh drop pocket that's somewhat expandable so if you have a tripod and you want to stick a tripod in there you can do that um, they also have an option here for a side zipper that you can like stick two legs if you have a really tall tripod in here. You know, if you're doing like big, huge wildlife shoot tripod stuff, you can stick that in there and then have the other leg sticking out. So there's room to do that. Or you can just use it as a, as a drop pocket to, to stuff something in if you need to. Um, on each side, you have cinch cords so that you can either pack it out, um, you know, or just cinch whatever you've got, like your tripod or something in there. Um, same thing, this side, you've got another zipper pocket here to do the same thing, but this one goes straight into the bag, uh, which is kind of nice because if your bag is really like packed out and you want to get something at the bottom, you don't have to come in all the way from the top. You can kind of open it up and reach in from the bottom there. So if you're packed out for like a camping trip and you ended up throwing your um, toiletry kit down at the bottom, you can reach it real quick without uh, having a big issue on that one. So um, good call on that. On the top of the bag here, We've got a pals webbing, so you can attach uh, some other pouches or anything like that. And another waterproof zipper. That This one's smaller. Um, you could fit like a, a phone, uh, fits about perfectly in there. So that's great for like, you know, your keys, phone, anything that you need really quick. If you're out hiking, something like that. There's another like half zip pocket here that opens up and, and um, becomes like the whole top of the pack here. If you need to stuff something big in there, you could stuff another jacket, anything you might want to access quickly that you wouldn't want to like put all the way into this bag here. Opening it up, you have another zip pocket on the top here. And this one is another like short zip, kind of like uh, phone sized again. Um, you can look and see, you can put a, a phone standing up in there, um, if you need to. So 
you can fit quite a bit in there and then there's some more uh, webbing in there if you need to attach some some various items or something like that so um, a lot of pocketing just on the top flap and there's some good zipper pulls here so if you're wearing gloves you can actually get a good zipper pull on that if your hands are cold out in the elements um, anything like that so there is no like admin panel on the front if you were looking for that but um, just letting you know on there there is some webbing loops along the sides on either side so if you wanted to get some of their extra attachment straps you could kind of attach something in there um, you know anything like that on the bottom of the bag we do have extra little webbing loops here so you can attach there and then this little pocket down here is built to house your your rain fly um, I've got that on the floor down here I'll show you that covering the bag a little later but um, it's you know already attached in there and then the bottom while it's not like a um, uh, super reinforced with like hypalon or anything this is very well reinforced uh, this fabric does can take a beating like I said I was in a, a caving situation and I was expecting to get it, get some tears or some abrasion nothing happened there so um, definitely solid on that each of your uh, drop pockets for your water bottle or anything has a grommet here that you can uh, allow water to come out so if you are in the rain and it does happen to go down or your water bottle opens up you can um, allow the water to get out on that side so moving around to the back of the bag the straps uh, on the athlete they are um, they're thick but not like overly thick and uh, there isn't any like breathable mesh on them so i did find that they do get kind of hot on there if you're using them but the back panel is very breathable so it kind of makes up for it on that side so you don't really get like a massively sweaty back uh just keep that in mind depending on what your climate is you could end up feeling some uh some heat on your shoulders there uh the belt system here on the back so this is this one is attached to the bag it's not removable but you do have pockets on either side which is nice and these pockets each have a drop pocket that kind of folds out in the pocket so if you you know you're going along and you want to place a story or lens caps or uh, um, even like a filter pouch or something like that you could do that or even just picking up trash on the trail um, you have an option for that they do have additional options for uh, other belts um, for each of the packs that i'll show you uh, shortly here but it, you can attach those um, it is an interesting way because you know normally if you have like a belt system um, you can pull it out and do that but with their belt system here um, this one is removable and you slide it through and it attaches the velcro there and then the belt actually attaches to this belt so it becomes like part of this belt and you'll notice that it it ends up kind of like attaching so it works um i wouldn't say it's good or bad it's just completely different than anything i've seen before so um very interesting on, on that side but no matter what you do get a hip belt uh, with the pack um, because even if you're you know running this completely packed down at 20 liters you are going to want something that's uh, a little bit more um i don't know uh that you can attach to your body because for me, like when I'm hiking, I'm usually out doing something uh, on, on a mountain. So it um, gives me a little bit more ability to hold the pack tightly to me. Um, they both of the bags, you access your camera gear from the uh, back panel of the bag. And that's something that I like uh, on, on all my camera bags because generally when I'm out going out shooting, I'm not somebody who's swinging my bag around I need to get into the, the bag real quick if I'm going someplace and I know I might need my camera I might use like a peak design capture clip or something on there or just carry my camera but um I just never find the need that I need to swing it around and get a camera out and things like that I'm, I've never been fond of how those bags open on the side so um looking at how it fits on the inside here um you've got a, a decent sized camera system i'm using both of my cameras to film but um i've got a film camera here so just to show you this is a uh, canon ae1 and just to show you how that fits inside there um, you have plenty of room 
in the bottom of the bag here. So uh, there's not going to be anything hitting. Um, you know, this is the size of most mirrorless cameras and lenses. You can sit it up. You can sit it, um, you know, pretty much any which way, and it's going to work. Uh, if you have a drone and you want to put that in there, drone fits in there fine. And then even um, like a larger lens, like a 70 to 200, um, that will fit in pretty good. Uh, I've noticed that the way that their system works, if you have a lot pushing in on the bag, uh, you kind of have to like pack your kit first and then pack out the rest of the bag. But you can see this fits in there and doesn't, you can close it up and not have any issues. So you have quite a bit of room in there to pack it out. And one of the nice parts about their uh, internal camera system is even though it's not removable, you can adjust it. So they have their proprietary, um, what they call their origami system. So they've got a little tab right in here. I'm gonna fold this back so it's not in the way, but they've got this tab right in here and you pull it. If I didn't have that there, you pull it and it ends up creating a bigger space for your cargo area and less space for your camera area. So you can kind of build it out that way if you need to. Um, it doesn't remove, like I said, so this is strictly, you know, camera backpack. It's not like other ones where if you run or wanted to run the bag just as a, a backpack, you could, um, you know, this has the camera system in here. You'll notice this little pocket here. This has access to the back of your cargo area. So if you needed to grab something real quick from there, you could, uh, but this one is a, is a little uh, thinner. Um, you know, if you are carrying a DSLR, you're gonna struggle having that fit in here completely, um, especially if it has a, a, a battery attachment or anything like that. So um, this one is a bit smaller. On the back panel, you've got a, uh, just kind of like a mesh catch-all here that you can throw in and put your card holders, anything like that. Zipper pockets, two different uh, sizes here that you can fit your batteries, um, SD cards, anything like that that you might have, uh, just to show you so you can see. I've got some batteries right here. Uh, they fit both sideways and vertically, so you can attach them in there. So it's kind of nice because what I've been using this for is um, I put my charged ones in the top, and then when they're dead, I move them down to the bottom so I know which one's which on that side. So it's cool to have both options there. This zipper is not um, waterproof, so just keep that in mind. You know, if you're going to be in a, in a very... Uh, rainy environment, you're not going to find that that's uh, very waterproof. Uh, it, you might see some seepage in there, but it would have to be very, very uh, wet. So coming into the main part of the bag here, stuffed it with a camp blanket here just so you can see how full it is. Um, you can kind of see in there, we've got the camera cube area and there's like a small little laptop sleeve. Um, in there. I'll try and get a better shot of it afterwards, but um, you can sit a, a laptop in there, which for me, I wouldn't put a laptop on the outside there unless it was in a case, just because you, you never know. Like you're in a plane, someone pushes another suitcase against it, the wheel hits it, something like that. Um, I prefer to have my laptop against my back. I feel like it's more protected, but that's just a personal uh, thing there. But again, if you need to remove the frame sheet, they built it so that you can. So you could completely take out the frame sheet that's right here just by kind of pulling everything up and bending it. I'm not gonna do it just cause I don't want to, but uh, then your bag could completely compress down if you just wanted to carry it without having a frame sheet in there and cinch everything down really nice and tight. But you'll notice that this is very thin. Um, I'm gonna leave it unpacked just so that when I bring up the, the adventure later, I can show you guys exactly what that looks like, um, how thin they are together. So you can kind of uh, see that example there. So that's the quick run through of the athlete there. Like I said, it's uh, 20 liters compressed, 40 liters completely expanded. Um, you do have quite a bit of room to pack things out if you need to. So. If you wanted to take this out and, and go camping with it, you know, do some photography out in the wild, it's a great option to have for that. So, um, you know, the branding is very subtle on it too. So if you're out there 
uh, you know, it's not like a big white logo or anything on there. It does have branding on the front, um, as you've seen some of my other videos. I'm not a big fan of like massive branding. Um, you know, if you're some places, some people know what camera bags are out there. So if you are in an area where there's a high rate of theft on like tourists or something, um, just keep that in mind. It's, it's something that I'm aware of when I go out just because people target you because they know you have stuff in there. Um, one last thing, the, here's the rain cover here. Um, because of what this shell is, or what the bag is made of, if you're in like a, a light drizzle or anything like that, I don't see that you would actually need it. If you're in a hardcore, like torrential downpour, definitely would want to put this on. Um, it is not like a, a highly waterproof material. So um, you've got this, it attaches in their bag there. And then this just covers your bag like that. And you can have a completely waterproof cover to your bag. So if you're out, um, it's great because it's easily deployable. You can just stuff it in that pocket. Um, you know, use it for that, comes off easily, and then you just stuff it back in its little stuff sack pocket there. So, great little option if you need to. Um, I've really enjoyed this bag. Uh, it was the Carryology uh, top camera bag of the year. Uh, just, they've, they've done a great job building it out. Um, so, that's the Athlete bag, that's the smaller one, and now let's jump into the adventure. All right, so this is the adventure bag. Uh, this one is a massive bag. Um, it is great. Uh, I, I loved using it because when I'm out and shooting for work, I'm doing both photo and video. So I have a, a I wouldn't say it's a complex setup, but I've got a mirrorless camera that I'm shooting video on. I've got DSLR uh, that I prefer to shoot photos on. And then, you know, I've got a drone, I've got a GoPro, I've got a couple other things, plus all the equipment that you need. Um, so I need a lot of space in my bags. And um, this one definitely answered the call. I took this one down on a trip to Baja and um, used it for two weeks, lived out of the bag. Um, I did have most of my camping kit in another duffel, but all of my other stuff, camera gear, everything else, was in this bag so um, great option on that and there is a lot of space in it so this bag compress is 35 liters um, but fully expanded it's up to 60 so you've got a lot of room in here to pack out pretty much any gear that you would need for any trip say you want to go backcountry camping for um, several days and you want to pack a tent and a sleeping mat and um, your sleeping bag <laughs> and food and everything else in here you've got room for all that so um, let's take a look at, at some of that there's a lot of the same features and a lot of different ones so I'll kind of try and call those out as I'm going through the bag and then uh, once I'm done we'll look at, at all that together so um, like I said took this one to Baja you might be able to see that it's fairly dirty um, you know with this one it was uh, out in the elements quite a bit um, when I was in the truck, it was in the back end of the truck, there was dust, um, in that back end, it wasn't completely sealed. So a lot of dust came from that, but then, um, it did clean off pretty well. There's a lot of dust in the seams and things like that. So, um, just calling that out. So you see it there. Uh, but looking at the bag itself, same front pocketing option here. You have a big drop pocket, perfect for a quote, uh, a jacket, something like that. Another waterproof zipper. That's the same size webbing on either side um i'll get some detail shots of this so that you can see but there was some uh, abrasion on this um area um it didn't tear anything but you'll you'll see it when i do the the close-up um here that you there's some just some wear on there and stuff like that so i do want to point that out depending on what environment you're going to be in uh same pocket down here with the raincoat still in there didn't have to use that baja's dry so the big difference on this one, you have a big front pocket here that does have a sort of admin panel. So this one has a kind of drop pocket that, you know, once it's folded down, you can drop things in and access, but it also has kind of a catch all pocket. So, you know, if you're out and you've got it propped up and you've got some things down here, it's not going to fall completely out. Got a nice mesh pocket here, two drop pockets there. You couldn't stuff a whole lot in there. Like, 
Um, you might be able to stick like a charger or something, but you're not gonna be able to stick like a massive hard drive or something in there um, if that's what you're carrying in that. So this one, I do like that because a lot of times when I'm out, I do like to have um, separate parts for different things um, just to just keep things organized when you're out on a trip. Same big zipper pulls on this one. Um, and that's another thing. This pocket, the zipper is not waterproof. So if you do have stuff in there, just keep that in mind when you're out, water could seep in there. Uh, you have a big thick handle. Um, man, I really like the handle. Like it's one of those things where on these big bags, if you don't have a side handle, you notice it because if you're going to carry this bag anywhere and you want to carry it, um, you know, by not the straps or anything, having a handle like this to be able to move it around is very nice. It seems like a small thing, it kind of is, but it, it does a lot uh, when you're out there. So there is no zip pocket in the Adventure. Um, just because it's such a big bag, you probably don't necessarily need that to, to cover for a big tripod on, on that side with the handle. Um, and then this side, again, no zip pocket, but you do have the full drop pocket with mesh expansion there and the grommet for water if, it, if, if you do need that. Um, you do have your webbing straps here. And then you have um, a couple like webbing loops that you could end up like attaching various things to. So if you really wanna like pack the bag out and attach things, uh, you could. The top pocket again, same thing here. You got a waterproof pocket on the top. Um, this one is slightly deeper, uh, you know, just because it's a bigger bag. You do have your, your webbing loops here to attach things if you need to. And then the full zip pocket here that you can like put in. I mean, man, you can fit a full dinner plate in there. So you wanna steal a, a, a dinner plate from a restaurant, pack it in, you got that. Uh, I don't recommend it, but you could. Um, good handle here. These handles I didn't touch on the other one, but same handle on the top on each. You have a little um, rubber bit over the webbing to kind of give you some reinforcement, but um, yeah, so you got that. And then coming around to the back side, um, another difference is on this one, you don't have a zipper on the top of the athlete, whereas you do have a zipper on the top of the adventure. So this zipper is a drop pocket that goes, let's see if I can get all my hand all the way in there. Like it goes all the way down. Like I'm not even at the bottom and it goes all the way down there. So. Not really sure necessarily what you would use that for, um, just because it goes so far down. But, yep, anyway, harness system here, again, thick-ish. Um, not overly thick, but not too light. There is no mesh um, breathing on there, but there is mesh breathability on the back panel. Um, you will notice that on the back panel here, um, this tour, this mesh tour here, that was from when I was in the cave. Um, there's spots where I couldn't, I was crawling on hands and knees and I was just dragging the bag along. Uh, so this <laughs> did get there. And you can see on the bottom that there is no tearing there. There's like the slightest bit of pilling, if you will. But um, yeah, like I was in lava tubes and this did not tear, so it's gonna hold up. Uh, you're not gonna see anything more rough than a lava tube unless you're dragging it behind a car. But I'm not gonna do that for this uh, review. Um, again, you have the same pocket system um, because most of the trip, I haven't cleaned that out. Um, I was not doing a ton of hiking with this bag or movement. Um, so I was just trying to keep it as mobile and like flapless as possible. Um, but you can stuff those in there if you need to. Again, you have pockets on either side that you can attach. And this one does have a, a belt as well um, that you can utilize to kind of build out your system there if you need to. Coming into the back of the bag. Again, these this is a half zip here on the other side. So whereas the Adventure zips completely and clamshells open um, vertically. This one clamshells open horizontally. Um, not really a pro or con in either way, to me at least. Um, some people there might be, but 
I just like it when you have full access to your gear on your back panel because usually, like I said, I go to a place, I unzip, I'm getting gear out, I'm doing my shoots, and then I put it back in, zip it back up. So um, there is, like I said, a lot of room in here. Look at all that room. Boom. Um, and it's deep, it's way deeper. So uh, I'll, I'll get the dimensions, I'll put them in on the, the text on the video, but um, you have quite a bit more depth in here if you need to. Um, I wish I had, I've got my DSLR up there filming, but you could put this film camera sideways, whereas, and you could almost make two layers if you needed to, if you had just like a, a regular kit camera there. So you've got a lot of room. So if you're putting like bigger lenses or something there, I think I've actually got, uh, got a macro lens here. Look at that. It fits perfectly. Um, right there, so you can close it up and still have room to uh, put items in there. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, pulling these out real quick just to show you guys. Again, this one uh, is a little bit different. Their Velcro really works well, as you can see. All right, so this one um, works a little bit differently because you can build out this origami system to be uh, uh, several different levels. So if you wanted to, you could have it all the way down and completely pack it out and just have your camera gear in the bottom. So if you're super light, but you need more gear and you want a big bag, boom, like that. Or you can do it there. So you kind of almost have a small, medium, and um, large camera body area space. Um, this one, you know, 70 to 200 lens here. I wish I had a, a larger lens to show you how massive this compartment is, but like you look at that and that's uh, very large. So I packed pretty much everything. No, I packed all I needed in this one bag for, for that trip, um, which was a lot because uh, I was down there and needed every bit of equipment that I had, plus chargers, batteries, everything that you would need. Uh, so that's the back panel there. Again, they have another little zipper pocket to get into your cargo area. And the top and bottom mesh pockets there, as well as the mesh drop pocket here. Um, and then because of the size of this bag, you've got a frame sheet here that you can pull out or, um, you know, just leave it in if you need to. But I don't know why you would necessarily really need to pull it out, but you can if you need to. Um, zip this guy back up here and show you the interior. So on the front of the bag as well, behind the first zipper pocket here with that has the admin panel, you have um, another zipper pocket here that kind of just opens like this and that's where your laptop sleeve is there and it goes all the way down to the bottom, but your laptop sleeve is suspended. So it stops about right there. So this one is a little bit more protected. I'd feel a little bit better about um, putting my laptop on the front of this one just to carry with me. Obviously, depending on the trip, I'm not going to bring my laptop, but for most work trips, I am uh, carrying that with me. So you do have that extra storage space there as well. Again, not waterproof. So um, if that's an issue for you, keep that in mind. But coming into the main compartment here. So right now the origami space is down to its smallest and you've got uh a lot of space in there like with it expanded you've probably got like three inches down at the bottom to stuff something in um, so perfect for like a uh, toiletry kit just stuff that in there or something and then pack your clothes bags anything else like that but the bag itself that's 
how big it can expand to. So you have a lot of space. Like this is a massive bag, um, you know, but again, if you need to pack it down, you can. So just to show you again, clip this back up here. So this is the Adventure completely compressed down. And like I said, the camera space is a little bit thinner down there. So packs down like that. And then here is the athlete. So hopefully you can see how, how well that difference is there. So you've got pretty thin bags if you need to, or you can pack them out uh, a lot. Um, so really it just depends on your kit. There are a lot of different options for you there on these bags. Um, you know, like I said, they did a great job thinking through this. Like obviously there are people who use camera bags on a regular basis and know what people are looking for in them. Um, they've built some great pocketing, some great components, um, great access to your camera gear, as well as, you know, including the rain fly, um, having attachment points. And then when you buy the bag, there's options to outfit it. Um, you know, you have your, your belt with it, but you can get your adventure belt if you need something that's more sturdy for your hips. Um, they have a bunch of different things, so you can go on their website, check it out. Um, so let's show you some of the other differences there. Um, this kind of shows you the, the depth of the bag difference. So we've got the, this is the athlete um, spacer and this is the adventure spacer. So you can see how big of a difference those are. So that's one thing that, um, you know, if you did have both bags, you have to like, you can't interchange your um, padding. They're, they're different sizes. So you kind of have extra padding. And if you're like me, I've, you know, a bunch of different camera bags. So I've got various paddings all over the place. Um, so, you know, not a downfall per se because they fit perfectly, but it's just frustrating to have more. Um, but that shows you the, the full size difference of the interior of the bag because the blue is just a little bit of like cushion on the top to kind of protect your gear, you know, as it's in there. So, yep, there's that. Um, if I had any complaints about the bag, they're, like I said, these are such great bags. They're they're really clean. Um, they do well, but uh, I think my biggest complaint is there's a lot of like hanging and floppy parts. Um, you know, that's not necessarily a downfall per se. Uh, it's just a personal preference. I like to have my bags clean or the ability to keep them clean. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, if if you're not completely cinched down or something like you've got, you've got some floppiness there. Granted, you know, obviously for the naysayers out there, I can pull, I can cinch that completely down so it really doesn't flop. But then I've got these floppy pieces of webbing down here. And yes, I could, you know, pull them up and tuck them around and things like that. But just, I don't know, just something about it. There's, there's little bits of webbing here. And for a premium bag, um, I kind of expect strap maintainers here. You know, they've got, you can tuck your uh, webbing back behind these loops so it kind of keeps it under control. But, um, you know, if it's completely cinched down, you know, it's, you still got flappy parts there. Um, there are options for that, but that's probably my biggest complaint about this is it just, there seems to be a lot of fabric, even when it's not, like unless it's completely packed out, there just seems to be a lot of fabric. Um, for some people that's not an issue, but, um, and like use case wise, it's not an issue. It's just more of an aesthetic thing. Like I don't want to see a lot of like floppy strings hanging down when I'm done with my bag or when I'm, when I'm using it. Uh, same thing on this one, you know, you've got attachments, but you have a lot of like floppy strings. If things are, are tightened or hanging around. So that was my biggest, my biggest complaint about these bags. Um, but again, it does not affect the usability. So overall, these are some of the best um, adventure packs out there. They're built extremely well. Uh, like I said, I took this one, um, you know, on, on a Baja trip, it got dusty, it got beat up. 
Um, you know, there's some abrasion stuff I'll show you on the side pockets and things like that, but nothing tore. So um, that's a huge thing for me. Like I tend to beat up my bags. I know a lot of you just see them sitting in here. Um, you know, when I'm out shooting with them, I'm out shooting. I'm not trying to get like footage for these reviews, unfortunately. Um, I do have a couple clips that I might be able to put in there from this one, but when you're wearing it and you're the one filming, you're generally uh, not really getting shots of your bag, so it's hard to do. Anyway, um, I hope you liked it. Let me know if you have any uh, thoughts, questions, anything like that that I can answer. Um, but again, the, the Atlas Adventure Pack and the Atlas Athlete Pack, um, both two amazing bags. Um, for one last time, this one is 20 liters compressed and then expands up to 40 liters. This one is 35 liters and expands up to 60. So you've got some big carry options there. And then, um, you know, I'd say the Adventure is fit more for the mirrorless shooters, anybody who's carrying a smaller type kit. Um, and then the, um, or the athlete, I don't know if I said that, but the Adventure is for the um, DSLR shooters, anybody with a big kit, you know, anything like that. So if you got big lenses, this would be the pack to get. Um, you know, you could, might be able to squish it in there, but I wouldn't risk it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time.